Got me feeling like mine Cause you're always rushing Your mind has been filled with traffic No stop signs Stuck on bad habits Let's just chill and relax To end our day In the sunset Just after five o'clock rush hour, I wanted to film the beautiful Victoria Station inside, but they wouldn't let me. Would you believe? He was very polite. I said, Well, can I film outside? It's a rush hour, five o'clock. I remember being here when I was about 19 years old and homeless. It's the only time in my life, I think it was actually just six months. And then I worked seven days a week for the rest of my life. And I started work, would you believe, when I was seven years old. So I did and retired about 67, so 66 years apart from the six months homeless. And I you know, with this one station that I would come to if I ever travelled back to Croydon. So I think it's about 20 to 30 minutes from here, 12 to 15 miles, East Croydon Station. It's a beautiful station on West Croydon Station. I was going to take you to Battersea Park, but I shouldn't have gone for coffee. It's been, um, it's okay now, but it has been very volatile. We've been lucky, put it that way. And very cold, really cold wind. I needed an overcoat, I needed a scarf. And we had some rain in my first video, so I stopped, but it wasn't a lot. I could have carried on in Mayfair, it's absolutely wonderful over there. But you, you'll get the gist, we can go back. The cars are beautiful homes, and we spoke to two or three people. I remember last time, I, as I said, I haven't been to Victoria Station for years. It's a very interesting place to come to. As you can see, thousands of people going home. Hamilton's on. Very popular, isn't it? Apparently, Hamilton. It was under construction many years ago. Probably ten years ago. I came to Victoria. I'm exaggerating a little bit. Forgive me. Interesting building here. The Duke of York. We could always go to Buckingham Palace. Um, which is a turn right and walk up. Interesting world in there. Oh, it's so cold, I can not believe it. I might have a coffee somewhere, it's very windy. stage door there and this is called Palm House go in and out. I wonder what it's like being famous. Can you imagine guys? Oh look, another interesting building. The Social Flight Club. Yes, I, I don't think I could have made it, guys, forgive me. To all this seating outside, their heaters and 
It's lovely, isn't it? All very quiet at the moment. Oh, we've got away from the rush hour. I see it only took a few seconds for someone to come up to me and say, oh, you can't film in Victoria Station. You need to get permission. So that, those lights would light up at night. It'd be wonderful here. The seat in here. Oh, it's amazing. Look at it. I can see one of the lights on. Oh, a couple of them are on. Yes, I, I couldn't really get over. It's just lovely here. I don't even remember this being. said I haven't actually been around Victoria I, I would oh yes I, I would come from Cheltenham about 15 years ago get the bus and it was really cheap stagecoach not going to talk a lot here guys because it's so windy just have to enjoy the wind I never realised Buckingham Palace Road was so near to Victoria Station because it's where they come from Buckingham Palace and we are going to go to Buckingham Palace for you. Yes, because it's windy and the damn yes. useless radio microphone has won't pair <laughs> with, the, with the iPhone, guys. You're going to hear a lot of wind, but forgive me. That's why I'm not going to talk a lot in this one. I know where they start from Buckingham Palace. So I think you go up there and turn left. It's only about 20 minutes, I think. And then you got the car opposite, so it'd be wonderful. The most horrendous wind, and if I talk, it's going to be so distorted. So please just enjoy the views and the authenticity of the wind. If you were here, you would have the same wind in your little ears. You can always mute it and put your own music to it. I never do that guys because I know lots of vloggers do. But it's so personal music that I never do that. I know you can put some sort of appropriate music but it's not my style of video. So I didn't want to go to Fantasy because we would have been pushing my time for my train. 44 I waited half an hour and the bus didn't come but it can be another time so let us just enjoy Victoria and Buckingham Palace which I wanted to do another time anyway so we can do it this time and I think I'm right in 
assuming it's left here and straight up. It's really quite dark, quarter to six. Green Park. And uh, it's a bit of a reflection there, guys. Sorry about that. You can freeze that. Oh, that's beautiful over there, isn't it? So a little walk through the park. Oh, we can go on that side, but we don't have to. I showed you the road down. It's very short. You could even see the end where they turn right. Then it brings you back to where we were in um, Victoria Station, where we came from. Always wanted to visit Green Park. I hope you enjoy my videos. I will. Yes, it's raining now, guys. Isn't that absurd? <laughs> I tell you, I shouldn't open my mouth. I don't want to get completely lost because I'm okay with time at the moment. Oh, I can get a 390 back. I think they're 20 minutes on the bus back um, from Victoria to Euston. So that's not too bad. It's so much better, guys, than if you come to London also, use the buses. They're very frequent, they're clean, they're normally electric, hybrid. and it's just so much better. I did use the um, underground because I was pushed for time once last time I came to London. It was awful. It was absolutely, couldn't get a seat. And the old, the new underground, I mean, it's, I think it did take about 13 years, cost billions. It's stunning, but the old, most of it's still the old, or oh, they upgraded and refurbished many stations and they upgraded many, many stations. They are still nothing like, with respect, New York is it's well known, some of the worst, uh, probably the worst underground system, one of the worst in the world. I'm, there's some stations, like no-go areas, I've never seen such filthy, dirty, awful. It's not that far, do you know? Isn't it amazing, the same, you see this park also, many times. It probably goes quite a long way over there. And, but you always, it is so deceptive, isn't it? Here, you, you think it's, I'm gonna go back and along and then we can turn right as if they, they were having the, um, you know, the, um, what it, the procession they call it, which I've watched on TV many times. So, Let's go back. Over there, it runs parallel, and that would be the best, best place to go. I mean, at least there were not thousands of people there. Quite a lot of people, obviously, but loads of room best time to come really I think the weather because it's been threatening 
it's and and as as I said, uh, keep repeating myself. The wind is absolutely bitter cold. So let's walk along here. So they would come out of there, round the roundabout, and they would go down here, the road here, which isn't, as I said, it isn't that long. And then they would turn right, and that would bring us back to Victoria Station. Very nice. I hope everyone is well. I've been a little bit um, <coughs> bruised the last three days. I'm not going to tell you why. Old geese for Holly. But now we'll get over it. These Canada geese, they are everywhere. Holly, if you watch this video, aren't they? I mean, just everywhere. Isn't that amazing? Um, Get out of the camera. <laughs> I'm only joking, guys. But I've had situations like that. And then they say, oh, excuse me, I don't want to be on your video. I said, why did you walk in front of the camera there? <laughs> yeah, Holly sends her regards. Are you Canada geese? I assume you are. You guys get everywhere. Hmm? Not a bad life, is it? Hey? Not a bad life, is it? Mind you, I couldn't tell the difference between geese and ducks. I remember walking along the canal for the first time and uh, I was so embarrassed. I said to this guy, um, oh, the ducks are big. <laughs> he said, I shouldn't tell this because you'll think I'm stupid. <laughs> he said, they're not ducks, they're Canada geese. Yes, so there were thousands of people here if you remember. Thousands of people. Trafalgar Square, Westminster, Charing Cross, High Park Corner. Hopefully, I know Victoria's over there, but I'm hoping we can... We're not too far away. We're OK. We've got an hour before I need to make my way back. So if you've watched uh, the ceremony or whatever goes on live broadcast, this is where you see, as I said, they turn right at the roundabout down here, uh, where you see those thousands of people. And you feel it's going on forever, but it's quite short before they turn right. I don't, I don't think it's a turn in here, right? It's further down. Oh, there's one over here. Look, guys. Let's take it over here. Oh, you can't get too close. Stop raining. That's good. Ah, serious organised crime. It's a section under section 128. I wanted to get him. Let's just put my umbrella back over my shoulder. And let's try and zoom in for you. There we 
now. So it's a bit wonky when you zoom into six. It does shake quite a bit. Let's zoom out. Boom! <laughs> yes. I love it, to be honest. Today, it's really interesting. I hope you appreciate it and you understand about a windy day. At least I got it working again, so I'm able to use the uh, dead cat muffler, which will help a lot. It's amazing those lights on the bicycles, isn't it? They're really powerful. I used to have one though, when I lived in Lincoln. I had a, it was like a headlight it was, I tell you. It was amazing. Fascinating, wonderful, incredible. I'd like to spend a month in London, but, uh, and, and just film and film and film and see if, as I said earlier on, I can finally crack a London logging scene, which is obviously very clicky. I understand post call, watch Walker, obviously, um, a bit people coming over from America for the first time, not mention his name, gets, goes on an underground train, uh, that's all, sits there 45 minutes and 300,000 people come in and watch it. Ah, so you've got the part of it over there. Hello, lights. So they go down there, the lights at the end there, then they turn right. So it is, it's quite, quite a, a distance. Thirteen seconds, and then you can see. Let's go this here. Isn't that spectacular? Hmm. Very nice. And I love all the trees down this road. It's absolutely spectacular. I might split this video into two. Oh, so this is St. James Park. That's what I was thinking. Forgive me, guys. I, it's all new to me. Can you get through to... Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I was, can you get through to Victoria if you go straight through here? Oh, it doesn't matter. I know I'm not too far. No, you're not too far. No. I think I think if you go straight, yes, and then after the park you go towards the right. You're right. Yes. You will. Is it, you it, will be at least in the right direction. Yeah. You might need to ask. Sorry to else, trouble you. No, no, Thank no, you for your help. Right. Thank no. you. Thank you. <laughs> they always have their Apple earplugs. <laughs> so I grew up Green Park. I was thinking of St James Park. Silly. Forgive me, guys. Someone would have told me, Bernard, you're so stupid. Oh, more. Oh, ducks. Hello, ducks. Mm. As I said, I might split it into two. Do you know I digress so much, guys? Forgive me. I do have some information here. Oh, uh, so, oh, six minutes, Horse Guards Parade, Cavalry, St. James Cafe. This is where Buckingham Palace. 
Mm. That's amazing, isn't it? Let's go across this bridge here. Yes, sorry, sorry for my digressing. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I can't believe the London Eye is there. Oh my goodness. You can see how much the um, water is moving, it's not me. <laughs> That's so beautiful there. That's stunning. This umbrella though, it does get in the way. It's about six foot long. Ah yes, Victoria Station, 15 minutes, you see? That's fantastic. have to probably put a mixture of the park and the palace otherwise I don't get a lot of views on park videos but this is St James Park guys Victoria's 15 minutes down here I might have enough time to do another video I start my way back at 7 probably get back half past 7 I've only got half an hour to wait and then I, I can get the train back. So book about 10 days in advance. Don't take any notice of the weather forecast. They don't worry about people they are. So confident they're used to people obviously. This is your first walk through St. James Park. This is my first walk. The palace there. Yeah. Just getting back to Cortland, um, just opposite the cinema, the end of Broad Street. If you want to rent, I think it's minimum one year. Probably the best place in Birmingham City. 34 floors. And I'm going to stay for a year, hopefully, from December, December the 12th. So look, they all get on very well together. and see how it goes from there. Oh, these geese again. Say hello to Holly. Say hello to Holly. 
<laughs> What's going on? Guys, I know I moved the camera quickly then. Oh my goodness, he was coming after me. Outrageous. <laughs> huh. I don't know. Terrible bullies. <laughs> I don't know. That's not acceptable. <laughs> I always like to do this. I mean, I know you can Google things. Isn't that amazing? In here. Crusty dogtail white pelicans. Oh, gray leg goose. Well, you know what I think of you, gray leg goose, don't you? I was, I was so frightened. I mean, he was going for me. He was going for me. Oh, let's have a little qu quick walk through here. So quiet now. Oh, you could have a little look, a little bench here with a friend, and then you can come just sit here and have a picnic. Oh, isn't it beautiful? I tell you something guys, I got up at 10, the alarm went off, but the um, train is 12.06, I was going to leave at 11.30 and I was so tired that I don't sleep hardly at all. I went back to bed and because I had to go to the toilet and I thought, do I go back? Don't I go back? And I kept thinking, yes, no. And, you know, if you go back to bed, that's it. And I thought, well, it's only 15 pounds. I wonder if it's on the other side of the But I, I got up, thank God, at 12 minutes past. And I don't know, I didn't sleep, obviously. And I'm lying there and I'm thinking, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. And I was amazed. I got up and here we are now. I would, I would have been so annoyed with myself for wasting, you know, wasting the money. You can see the palace from here and even the balcony. That's amazing, isn't it? You see through there, guys? Look. That's amazing. I think we need to go down sort of over here now. I don't think it's, I think it's up there and then turn left to get to Victoria. Oh, that's right. So this would have been the end guys and then of course they turn right oh no I'm back on this road I'm getting a bit a bit confused yeah I, I need to get over there and go back the way we came otherwise I will be lost you can't get over here now so I hope you enjoyed this wonderful, beautiful, spectacular walk around. As I said, I'm, I'm never going to post more than 30 minutes, the most popular in the um, world. It's usually 30 minutes. 
um, or pop. And people, you just have a sort of learn from, I don't think you can get over there. I'm not sure actually. Uh, does it work? Oh yes, it says wait. Tip guys, I'm going to say goodbye here and possibly get into uh, Victoria area and do another 30 minute video for you. So I really hope you enjoyed this little journey to Buckingham Palace. I certainly did. See you soon guys. Take care. Bye bye.